Our brains need to function optimally so that we can live happy, prosperous lives. But how do we do that? Well, to preserve our brains, it is simple. As you know, as we've always been talking so far, when it comes to the health laws, they are simple, accessible, and affordable. And it is as simple as that. You don't have to memorize any crazy, hectic words. We keep it simple. Remember the eight laws of health. If you keep the eight laws of health, you'll be able to preserve your brain and you'll be able to guarantee yourself a happy life. Therefore, um, for example, when it comes to nutrition, the brain requires oxygen. It's the only fuel that it uses. Ensure that in your diet, whatever it is that you're consuming, that your brain will be able to extract all the oxygen and all the glucose that it needs in the right amounts and that that glucose level will not be fluctuating back and forth because every slight fluctuation of glucose level causes brain function to slow down. Therefore, we are not just going to be talking about diet and what to eat, but even how to eat. For example, um, eating between meals is a, is, is a very detrimental habit. Why? Because it, it causes the blood to be diverted from the brain to the stomach every time you eat. Every time you have a meal, the digestive organs have to start working and they need blood supply to an oxygen. So blood gets diverted from your brain to the stomach. And once that diversion takes place, then the brain is not able to get sufficient oxygen and glucose, and therefore its function slows down. That's why many people be begin to slumber just after a meal. Therefore, it's also important to learn how to eat the laws governing eating and, and, the, and the habits of, of or which actually will cause blood to be diverted from the brain to the digestive organs. Avoid eating between meals. Water. The brain is 90% water. We are repeating this over and over. If the brain does not have sufficient water and is dehydrated, the nerves will not function optimally. You can bet your decision making may not be right, may not be dependable. Um, what's the next law of health? Temperance, avoiding toxins. We've spoken about neurotoxins and how they kill brain cells. For example, MSG. MSG excites the cells to death to a point where they actually die. And therefore, if we are eating food articles that contain MSG, every time we have those food articles, we are killing off some brain cells. Just because there are billions and billions of brain cells doesn't mean we can sacrifice a few hundreds at a time. So if, if, if a few hundreds at a time are sacrificed, it may not manifest itself in a, in a big way. Um, you may not end up, for example, with a, a stroke that is obviously noticeable. But your decision making may be affected and you may not even recognize that. This is why it's so important for us to avoid the toxins that impair brain function. Coffee is another because coffee is a terribly dehydrating agent of the body. Um, one cup of coffee requires four cups of water for it to be metabolized. Therefore, if you're, if you're not drinking sufficient water and you're subsisting on coffee, what's happening is the brain is slowly, gradually getting dehydrated. And a dehydrated brain cannot be trusted to make right decisions. Air is so important because the body must constantly have oxygen, as an optimal supply of oxygen in order for it to function. Therefore, ensure that you're living in a well-ventilated area and that the air is not polluted. Rest is so important. During sleep, the brain reorganizes itself. That's why we have dreams. Dreams are nothing else but the, the mind reorganizing everything that it has had to process during the day and plan for tomorrow. Therefore, it's important to get your eight hours of sleep. Otherwise, if you don't rest sufficiently, tomorrow your decision making is affected. Trusting in God, again, the last and most important law. By trusting in God and having faith and believing, it reduces stress, reduces depression, and enable us to get through the day and through the difficult patches of life without collapsing. 
So I hope that you will be able to think about the eight laws of health in regards to brain power to empower yourself to live a happy, prosperous life. Thank <laughs> you.